Hello there, I am Sean McLaren, and today we have Buggles. 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 In modern. Now, um, bo Buggles, I'm, I'm gonna call it Buggles. Um, Buggles is a deck I have never actually played before. I have always, um, shunned and poo-pooed the thought of playing Boggles, Boggles, um, but Boggles is a deck that always beats me. As a Jeskai mage, the hexproof creatures are very difficult to deal with, and I figure nowadays it might be time for a Bogle, Boggle resurgence. So, as you can see, we have a lot of one drops and a lot of two drops and not a lot of other drops um, so the the hot new card is SRAM although not really necessarily the hottest card for this deck but worth worth a try it's basically Spirit Dancer uh, copy 5 and 6 in this deck we're running two of them so they both um, say the same thing whenever you cast an aura spell you may draw a card um, other than that core spirit dancer is going to be better in almost every situation core spirit dancer isn't legendary it grows whenever you you uh, enchant it um, that said SRAM does have better stats when it's when he's naked um, he is a 2-2 compared to an 0-2 but uh, generally, Core Spirit Dancer are going to be better, but Core Spirit Dancer is a very good card. So having a few more copies of it might be okay. Um, beyond that, we have our Hexproof, or the Boggles of the deck. Um, Glade Cover Scout and Slippery Boggle for all intents and purposes and all intensive purposes they are exactly the same of course we all know slippery bogle is much better um, then we have the enchantments uh, there's ethereal armors which are just amazing uh, because they are one of the cards that gets better the more enchantments you have uh, we have the umbras we want a full eight of those spider and hyena are going to be great for making sure our Boggles are unkillable from like Wraths or Supreme Verdicts or that sort of things or in combat even or just whatever. Then we have uh, Rancor. Trample is going to be great in this deck for pushing through uh, Giant Bogle or Giant Spirit Dancer or what have you. Similarly uh, Spirit Mantle acts uh, very similar to Trample when your creatures are big enough it doesn't really matter if they can be blocked if if you're just trampling through a bunch of damage uh, also have uh, Daybreak Coronet which is just fantastic has a whole mess of abilities that are great uh, just make sure you have an aura attached to your creature um, already nice scarf <laughs> Um, so Spirit Link is actually going to work with Daybreak Coronet uh, because it triggers, it doesn't actually give Life Link, and I think Spirit Link is actually a really good card right now. I like the idea of gaining lots of life. Um, Path to Exile, just solid removal, and then the mana base. Uh, we have Dryad Arbor, which is kind of like a backup a super backup bogle or backup thing to put all your auras onto so we can search that up put all our stuff on it and then win that way and then horizon canopy is going to be excellent in this deck as just a way to cycle through your cards uh, cycle through your lands in the late game uh, more spirit links obviously going to be better in some matchups than others uh, where you're racing your life total matters uh, whereas if your life total does not matter the life gain is not going to be re relevant 
Then some removal can flesh out the full four paths and also an extra dismember. Ley lines for like Jund and Abzan, heavy heavy discard decks. Um, also great against Liliana, they can't make you sacrifice a Bogle uh, if they can't target you. Uh, Stony Silence, obvious. As you can see, white is is a fairly uh, good sideboard color. 14 out of our 15 uh, sideboard cards are, are white and one is Dismember. Uh, so yeah, Stony Silence, you know what it's for. Uh, rest in peace, you know what it's for. Obviously, uh, rest in peace is going to be good now, better nowadays um, because of Death Shadow Aggro. Rest in peace is one of the best cards you can have against them. And in theory, Bogle should should have a good matchup against them. Um, also, Disenchants are going to be good at um, taking out like chalices, chalices, ratchet bombs, engineered explosives. Since it costs two, it doesn't get hit for a chalice uh, on one, which would otherwise be game breaking, Bra bo boggle breaking. All right, that's boggles. You gotta see it to believe it. So let us play some games. <laughs>